Dry matter intake and health set the future of your calf's lifelong performance. Managing stress in your dairy calves after birth and after weaning is a top priority because stressed calves do not eat enough and they get sick. All routine practices should be stress-free, but no product can give calves the comfort of being with mom. Until now, Therapies is an affordable, easy-to-use application of maternal bovine appeasing substance, which is naturally secreted by the skin of the udder and lactating cows to comfort her calf while nursing. Therapies is applied to the nose and the pull of the head of calves. Easy like that. And when breathed in, the maternal bovine appeasing substance works in the brain to reduce negative stress hormones that decrease the calf's immunity and weight gains. Dairy calves are exposed to several stressors, such as abrupt physical separation from the dam after birth, dietary changes, dehorning, grouping, new environments and management changes. But that's not all. In the first weeks of life, their immune systems are still adapting too, and it has been shown that calves with greater average daily gains cope better with stress and are healthier. Stressful situations elicit adrenocortical and acute phase protein responses and cortisol. Epinephrine and norepinephrine levels are increased, leading to elevated inflammation, decreased dry matter intake, weight loss, increased morbidity, and mortality. Appeasing pheromones have been isolated in various species and the synthetic analog. Maternal bovine appeasing substance in therapies is a feasible alternative. Studies indicated that when maternal bovine appeasing substance is applied, it is locally assimilated by the vomeronasal organ in the nasal cavity, and regions in the amygdala and hypothalamus are then desensitized, decreasing the perception of threat. These calves had reduced flight zones, lower cortisol and inflammation, and ultimately better health and weight gain. Despite the fact that we gradually wean our calves, we still notice that when we move calves out of the hutches and into group housing, our calves usually cry for at least two days after the move. When we started using therapies, we noticed the calves were quiet and the social stress was gone. More importantly, dry matter intake increased and post-weaning treatments were reduced. Multiple university studies showed that therapies works. Calves treated with therapies are calmer and lie down more. Their dry matter intake and weight gain are increased, and they are much healthier, which reduce the cost of treatment and labor, all very important for the welfare and performance of your dairy calves. We're following the recommended therapies protocol for our baby calves. They're treated from birth and every 14 days until we move them out of the hutches. Our pre-weaning mortality rate has dropped dramatically and calves are 18 pounds heavier one week after their move to group housing. Calves are visually calmer, heavier, and healthier. Let's take a closer look at two recently conducted studies. This first study was recently conducted in a large commercial dairy and it measured the effect of therapies on the performance and incidence of diarrhea in pre-weaned dairy calves. The calves in this study were kept in hutches and every alternate calf received therapies every 14 days from birth until they were moved into groups. 410 calves were enrolled in this study. The results showed that therapies decreased both the average number of days the individual calves had diarrhea and the total number of days of diarrhea in all the calves. There was a significant decreased mortality risk in the calves that received therapies compared to the calves that did not get therapies. When the calves were weighed seven days after they were moved into groups, the calves that received therapies were heavier compared to the control group. The study showed the following benefits when calves received therapies. Decreased incidence of diarrhea, decreased number of days with diarrhea, decreased mortality risk, and increased body weight seven days after moving into groups. A second study was conducted on a different large commercial dairy. The objective of the study was to measure the effect of therapies administration on the performance and disease incidence in pre-weaned dairy calves. The calves in this study were kept in hutches and every alternate calf received therapies every 14 days from birth until they were moved into groups. 320 calves were enrolled in the study. The study data showed that the calves that received therapies had significantly more weight gain during the pre-weaning phase. The average daily gain during the pre-weaning phase was 1.67 pounds in the therapies group compared to the 1.54 pounds average daily gain in the control group. 
In calves that had pneumonia, the weight gain in the therapies group was also improved. In calves that had diarrhea during the pre-weaning period, the therapies calves also showed an improved weight gain compared to the calves that had diarrhea but did not receive therapies. In this study, the therapies calves had less incidence of pneumonia, and because of this, the total number of antibiotic injections that the calves received were less. Healthier calves means less treatment costs. To summarize the results measured in this study, compared to the control calves, the group of calves that received therapies gained 10 pounds more body weight in the pre-weaning phase. They had improved average daily gain. The calves that had pneumonia performed better in weight gain. And the antibiotic usage was decreased by 25%, which means less treatment cost and improved calf welfare. Visit farahah.com for more information on therapies.